This design features a 2x3 hopper clock, as well as an optional hopper output to send your mushrooms right to your storage system. So, I'm going to be showing you two designs today. The difference between them is the collection system that they use. So they both have two seed mushrooms, which then grow onto two blocks of mycelium. And right now they're growing extremely quickly because I have the random tick speed set very high. And every once in a while these pistons will extend whenever the hopper clock activates down here and will break the mushrooms. Now, this design actually collects the mushrooms by having a hopper minecarts inside of these two mycelium blocks. And then the items from the hopper minecarts are picked up by this hopper chain and can go to your storage system. This one over here is a little bit more simple. The hopper minecarts are just sitting on top of mycelium blocks and when the mushrooms are broken, they pick them up and you can gather them from the hopper minecarts right here. Here are all the materials you will need to build this. The two extra hoppers are optional if you want your mushrooms to be output in a hopper chain. So let's start off by digging five blocks down to the ground in a three by two area. Then we're going to hop down here. We're going to place comparators in the middle facing backwards, going into blocks with torches on top of them. Then back here, we want two hoppers facing into each other, like so. And we want one item in this little hopper clock here. We want redstone dust on top of both of these. And then on top of the comparators, we want blocks. Now we want comparators facing in the other direction. And we're going to have blocks and torches once again with the comparators. And then above these torches, we want two more hoppers facing into each other. In these, we want exactly 22 blocks. It cannot be more than that. And then above these torches is where our output's going to be for our pistons. And from here is where the two designs differ. So to make the simpler hopper minecart collection system, we just place two pistons like so, our four mycelium and two seed mushrooms on top. And then we want to drop our hopper minecarts into these two spots here. So we can just place our rail, hopper minecart, and then break the block underneath and you're done. Mushrooms will grow, the pistons will break them, and they'll be collected in the hopper minecarts. The automatic hopper output system is a little bit more complicated, so what we're going to do is place two hoppers right above the comparators facing in the direction we want the items to go. So in this case, they're going to be output to the right here, and then we place two mycelium with our seed mushrooms on them, and then we want to drop our hopper minecarts right on top of the hopper. So we're going to place our rails, hopper minecarts, and then just break the block underneath them so it falls nicely on top and we want to push our mycelium into the hoppers here. So we're actually going to place pistons there and there, and then we can power these guys, and it'll push the mycelium block, and we can pick these up, place solid blocks on top of the torches, and then replace the pistons facing towards the mycelium, and we are done. If you ever want to disable the hopper clock on either of these designs, you can just send power to one of the two hoppers down here, and that'll shut off the design. One of the pistons will come out and it'll just stay there and your design will be shut off. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.